All right, hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install the Flux Phenom magnetic screen door if you have an aluminum door frame. Uh, for these purposes, this door frame's wood, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna be using the Velcro to fasten the screen door to the frame. So if you have an aluminum door frame, you're not gonna be able to use the thumbtacks, obviously. It's gonna be very hard to push those into aluminum. So it comes with 520 centimeters of Velcro tape, and it has sticky backing. which will go right on your door frame, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay. The door frame has Velcro on the back of it. So when you secure the tape on the door frame, you just attach this to the tape and it will stick to the door. The first step that you wanna do is clean the entire door frame. You're gonna to wanna to clean the door frame uh, with any kind of household detergent and let it dry, uh, then in order to remove all grease and oils, you're gonna to wanna to use 95% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. You can get it at uh, any uh, drugstore. Um, uh, you can also use 70%, but 90% or 95% is, uh, is gonna take off the oils a bit better. So you're gonna to wanna to clean it very thoroughly with a rag and some isopropyl rubbing alcohol to get all that grease off. So the Velcro sticky tape will actually stick to the door. Second step you wanna do, is size up the door, size up the magnetic screen door to the door frame. So, find the front of the door frame. This polyester here, this is the front, and the Velcro is the back. And you're gonna to wanna to have it about a half inch off the ground. If it's not a half inch off the ground, if it's like this, when you try to open it, it's gonna drag on the ground and it's not gonna shut properly. It needs to be completely suspended above the ground. And you're gonna also wanna make sure that it is secured in the middle. So, if I try to hang this on the door frame, this is about as high as I can go, it's gonna drag. So what I'm gonna need to do is hem it. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is fold it over. It's easier if you hold it up to the frame. So you're gonna wanna fold it over until you get your, your sizing right. So you fold it over, you're taking it, and you're folding it over. So you're taking the front part and you're folding it towards the back. You're gonna to wanna to do that, you're gonna to wanna to fold it all the way across. So in order to get this Velcro to work, so what I'm gonna do is just, when I fold it over, I'm gonna insert a thumbtack to the top here just to hold it in place. And I'm gonna do that same thing all the way across. So I'll put another one. So once you have it here, you're gonna take this, fold it over part, and you're gonna fold it back again so you're exposing the Velcro. And then you're gonna put the pin through again. And you're gonna to wanna to do that all the way across. Put, it, put, put the pins about a couple inches. All right, so now we have it hemmed, completely hemmed all the way across. You can put some more push pins in here. You don't have to use the pins. You could actually use double-sided tape. Now that we have the Velcro, so the Velcro should be on the back, it should be exposed like that. We're going to take our strip, our uh, Velcro sticky tape, and we're going to put it all the way across here. Again, you're going to measure the entire width of the frame, and then you'll make your cut, and then just peel back about four or five inches. And you're going to want to not try to touch this with your hands too much, it gets real sticky. You want to lightly put it up, and then push it flat down against the wood, making sure that there's no bubbles or any air or dirt can get up under there and you're going to want to push pretty firmly as you go across and then you can just pull the sticker back just like you're putting on a, a big band-aid. Now that you have the Velcro tape across the top, you can go ahead and Velcro this to the top, one side there, and I'm gonna basically do the same thing on the other side by doing that double fold. All right, so we have hemmed up the, the door frame at the top here. So basically to give you guys a close up of what it looks like, uh, you're taking the pin and it's going through the mesh here, and then it goes through the actual uh, reinforced border, 
but not not through the actual Velcro tape that's on the back. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Um, now I just did it with the pins to hold it there in the meantime. Uh, you guys can actually use uh, some bobby pins or actually just take a, uh, a stapler and staple it all the way across. Uh, these pins are just for your reference. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to affix it to the side. Again, you're going to want to leave some leeway. You're not going to want to have it stretched out too far to the side or else the magnets will not close. So if it's stretched too far when the door goes to shut, the magnets will, won't be able to close. So you're going to want to have a little give in the door. So basically I'm just going to, you could take your entire Velcro strip and go all the way down the door and have it Velcroed all the way down. But honestly, it's just easier to cut off about two to three inch strips and just put several of them all the way down the frame. Make sure that the door is even and you still have that leeway. All right, so you're gonna take the strip, the sticky strip, peel off the backing, and about a foot, foot and a half down from that top, you're gonna stick it. So you're gonna kind of see where it should go, and then you're just going to stick that Velcro on there, put it right there. And instead of going one side all the way down, you're gonna to wanna to do the, the opposite side at about the same level. And you're gonna to wanna to put it on the same level, you can just eyeball it, go right across, and then stick it right onto the frame here. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to test to make sure the door opens. And closes. And it does, so then you're just gonna to wanna to go down the other side. Depends how secure you want your door to be. Uh, if you have dogs and you want it to be very secure, you'll probably want to put strips about two to three inch strips about every five to six inches for this purpose and for the quickness of the video I'm gonna do it about every foot and when you uh, start putting these strips on you're not gonna to want to like stretch the door you're gonna to want to leave it loose and naturally put it on there so you're not gonna to want to stretch it down you're gonna to want to just let it kind of hang and do the same thing on the parallel side Alright, and then if you guys have any any loose spots here, that's where you can just put more Velcro in to secure it down a little better. Alright, so now I'm going to test out the door. And it works. Now that we have the door uh, all hemmed up on the top, we can actually take these placeholders out and replace them with a staple or a bobby pin or any other type of pin or however you want to hold it up. So I'm going to take each pin out and I'm just going to remove this from the Velcro and staple all this together. Your household stapler may not be able to get through this entire thing so I'm going to actually staple right next to it. And then so basically just take the pins out one by one all the way across and staple it up. Okay, take these pins out. If you don't want to hem it at the top, you can also hem it at the bottom. Yeah, it's basically the reverse of what we did at the top. There's no Velcro on here, so we don't even you don't need to worry about double folding it. You can just fold it back. And there's a magnet in here at the very bottom. So if you do hem it, your choices are a little bit limited. You can either hem it about a half inch, or you'll have to hem it a full inch and a half. That's the only reason we hem at the top versus the bottom, but if you only have to do it a half an inch or an inch and a half or more, then you can hem it towards the bottom. And we're gonna test to make sure that it opens and closes. Notice how we've left about that quarter inch on the floor so that the, the door does not get caught. If this was any longer, it would, it would get caught and it would not shut. As you can see, the magnetic screen door is fully installed and it shuts by itself very easily. All right, everyone, that's how you install the Flux Phenom magnetic screen door.